Imagine this, you draw your own game character, pop it into the floppy drawing disk drive and boom, it's in the game, ready to play. Sounds awesome right? Well, that's exactly what I've built here with my interactive arcade cabinet. You can design and play your very own game character right from the paper to the screen. And here is the best part. If you want to beat the other players, you can even hack the game controller to your advantage. I created this arcade cabinet as part of an assignment for a tech festival in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. The goal was to get young people excited about technology while doing something creative and fun. Whether you're someone who loves to draw or someone who's more into the technical side like hacking a controller, there is something here for everyone. For me it was super important to create something that works for different types of learners. I wanted to appeal to both hands-on learners who like to create and experiment and those who prefer to figure out the technical details first. It's about giving both creative thinkers and analytical minds a chance to shine. This cabinet is all about blending creativity and technology in a way that makes learning fun. I think playing and having fun is a useful tool when learning something new. Because you remember things that were fun better. That's why I didn't want this project to be too serious. It's about experimenting, having a laugh and enjoying the process. Creativity for me is about being playful, just messing around and seeing what happens, but also learning from that moment. That's why I created games like Floppy Turret, where you can fart and fly through the air, and another game where you can jump around on skippy balls. The physics are janky and silly on purpose, it's not about perfection again, it's about having a good time and enjoying the moment. Whether you're customizing your controller or just laughing at the silly gameplay, I wanted this installation to be a reminder that learning through play is just as important as learning through repetition. Now it's finally time and let's dive a little bit deeper into how this arcade cabinet works and how I've made it. I designed the cabinet in Fusion 360. Originally the plan was that the client would laser cut all of the parts because I then had more time for programming and designing. But the laser cutter they were using wasn't strong enough, so they had to manually cut them out after tracing it with the laser. It was a bit rough around the edges, but it works out in the end. This is very much a prototype and the next version will be much more polished. This was my first time designing something spatially for a laser cutter. And it was a bit of a brain teaser to take a 3D design and make it work for a 2D platform. It's a totally different way of thinking, but it was a great learning experience. The floppy drives for guiding and holding the drawing were also made with Fusion 360 and printed on a 3D printer. One of the coolest parts of this installation is the drawing recognition. I used Aruku codes, which are little marker codes printed on the corners of the coloring pages. When you color your avatar and insert it into the floppy disk drive, the position of these markers get recognized by a program I wrote in Python using OpenCV. OpenCV is a library for processing images and image recognition. The Python program does all the work for cutting out your avatar from the drawing and sending it over to the game, which I built with the game engine Godot. I chose Godot because it's open source and it gives me the flexibility to add all in the quirky features I wanted, without the extra cost for more features that comes with using something like Unity. This is my first time working with Godot, but once you understand the basic principles of programming, it's not too hard to switch between different languages and software. If you are familiar with one, you can usually pick up the other one much more quickly. The controllers are where things get really interesting. The PCB was designed with EasyEDA, a free online PCB design program with some great community shared designs. For the microcontroller I used some Arduino micros I had laying around. The concept for the controllers is similar to a Makey Makey, which also uses a 32U4 chip like the Arduino Micros or an Arduino Leonardo. They are super useful for making USB devices, like a keyboard or a MIDI controller. The basic idea is simple. When a digital read pin is connected to ground, it counts as a button press. The cool thing is that you can hack the controller to make the game easier or more challenging for yourself. Want a controller that gives you an advantage over your friends? You can build it yourself. This arcade cabinet was a first working prototype. But I already have plans for the future. I love to expand this project with more games and new kinds of avatars. 
And long term, I love to see this project in a museum. Imagine a place where kids and adults alike can come up, design their own game character and then immediately play with them in a game. It will be such an incredible way to combine creativity and technology. If you know of a place that could host something like this or you're just interested in collaborating, feel free to reach out. I'm always looking for new ideas and partners to take my art to the next level. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video has inspired you to think creatively about technology.